Welcome to the Live Energy Connect Configuration Manager Tutorial Part 1. This is the first video in a three-part series that demonstrates how to use your Live Energy Connect or LEC Configuration Manager. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the LEC Configuration Manager introductory video on Oracle University at education.oracle.com to familiarize yourself with some common terms, concepts, and the overall architecture of the LEC Configuration Manager. Throughout this tutorial, I will show you how to import example LEC server configurations, load LEC server batch files, start and stop an LEC server, create new LEC server configuration aliases, use an example LEC server configuration to simulate a SCADA system, adjust LEC server parameters, create a Windows managed service for an LEC server configuration, adjust an LEC server configuration's network parameters, and confirm the flow of real-time data through an LEC server. In part one of this tutorial, I will show you how to import an example LEC configuration file, load an example LEC server batch file, and save a configuration file. Here is a little information about this demo before we begin. LEC Configuration Manager uses configuration aliases to reference LEC server configurations. Customers will typically only use one LEC server configuration in production, which by convention is identified by the configuration alias called CFG. I'll be loading an LEC server batch file. These files contain list-like information and are used to populate an LEC configuration with specific configuration information based on the prototype virtual manufacturing devices, or VMDs, and prototype nodes defined in a LEC server's configuration file. Nodes represent a point in a particular step of the data flow, and prototype nodes act as placeholder templates and begin with the pound sign. Now, let's jump into our demo. Let's start by importing an example configuration. From the File menu, I'll select Import Configuration. I'll navigate to my C drive, to the Program Data folder, and to the Live Energy Connect folder, and from the list, I'll select iccpclient.db. I'll click Open to open the file. If you get this message, it just means that there is already a configuration file open, and it's asking you to save the currently loaded configuration file. I'm going to click OK because I don't want to save this empty configuration file associated with the CFG file that's currently selected. If you get this message, it just means the configuration file you're importing doesn't contain the latest macro definitions included with your installation of LEC server. It's recommended and good practice to load the configuration file with the latest macro definitions. To do that, click OK to this message. And then click File, Reload Macros. This message just means the LEC server needs to be running to reload the macros. When you click OK, LEC Configuration Manager will run LEC server to reload the macros. When it does this, a Windows console will open up and the server will stop and this window will close when it's done reloading the macros. Perfect. And now you have imported your first configuration file. In this next step, I'll load a batch file by clicking File, Load Batch Share. I'll navigate to my C drive and to the Program Data folder and to the Live Energy Connect folder and open the Config folder. And from the list of files, I'll select iccppoints.csv. Remember, batch files can be either CSV files or JSON files. I'll click Open to load the batch file. 
When loaded, the batch file appears in the Properties panel on the lower right side of the application from the Batch Files tab. As you can see, the prototype nodes, indicated by the pound sign, have generated new nodes based on the information in the batch file we just loaded. Now, let's save our configuration file. When you're working on your LEC server configuration, we recommend you occasionally save versions of your configuration file to a known location with a descriptive name. So if any issues arise, as you add the configuration, you can revert to the stored copy. To save your file, go ahead and click File, Save Configuration. Choose where you would like to save your file. I'm just going to save my file in the Live Energy Connect folder. And I'll rename it to CFG-Restore. And I'll click Save to save the file. Excellent. Now our configuration file is saved. In part one of this tutorial, you'll learn how to import an example LEC configuration file, load an example LEC server batch file, and save a configuration file. Be on the lookout for additional videos in this series on Oracle University at education.oracle.com. Thanks for watching and be well.